Hello my convicts and convicts, just a desire to keep convict, bringing you guys and gals another gameplay, and yes, we're going to play Rainbow Six Siege. So hopefully you enjoy, let's get on and see what we can do here, and if we can in fact, get a win. So you can see the character I'm choosing here is going to be Rook, and hopefully he's going to help us out with his extra armor. Also to let you know as well, in September as well, Rio does go back to school. So very, very soon it should be back to normal as usual with live commentaries rather than doing the gameplay first and then recording the afterwards. Bomb. Right, so as normal, drop down the body armor, let everyone know so everyone can pick some up if they need it. And that's just securing the areas of the bomb. And get the little drone things as well. There we go. And that's time to reinforce, like I normally do, around the doors. In order to make it harder for them to peek around and just shoot through the wall and shoot you. As you can see, I always do it near doorways. This mainly is for the reason that it helps to lock off any chance of them shooting through a wall while you're trying to hug the wall if they could enter the room. So now at this point, I'm just trying to figure out where to put my shield that you can deploy or barricade, I should say. And here we go. This is where it's going to go. I'm just making sure I'm leaning right, make sure everything's ready. Just gonna now wait for them to come in. And I saw the camera here, I was like, well, might as well try and use the cameras. I don't often really do this, but I can ping people out. And I noticed one guy here, so I thought I'd ping him out. As you can see, he's using his shield. So I'm just pinging out these guys, letting people know where they are. And as you can see, we've got five versus three. So Shield. Now there's only two left. One thing I didn't notice is obviously that team, they had two people down. There were two people down at this point, which is interesting. So I was just trying to figure out what we're doing, where people are coming from, just trying to keep track of everybody to help save people from being killed. As you see the explosions coming in, I was like, Jesus, what the hell's going on here? So now it's a 2v2. I can hear Mr. Shield Guy upstairs. I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to be careful because if he's got a shield, but I need to keep an eye on my teammate here. And he's going upstairs. If he gets killed, then we're going to be scooby doo doo But he managed to get a pick. So now it's just the last guy. And I heard someone. I was like, is he upstairs or not? He was like, no, he's upstairs. And there we go. Just shoot his legs. And take him out. Because he can't protect himself if he's not protecting his legs. So now it's our turn to attack. And guess who it is? Obviously. <laughs> Generally Sledge. Just because I can run in and just smash things to pieces and try and get a win. As you can see, we've actually lost one person on our team. And they've gained a person, because they, they now have a full team. Or gained some people, I should say, because they're now at full. Now, as you can see here, these are what my settings are at the moment. I am increasing it a little bit. Just to see if that would actually help with, like, such as turning. And as you can see, I'm, I'll go back to the options here. I'm like, I want to just double-check everything else, because I don't think that's saved anyway. 
just increase the brightness just a little bit just so I can see people and then have a look on here I didn't want obviously the vibration on I did decide on about 30 there and I was looking at this what does this do so classic a slow gradual progression which reaches its full potential so it's like aim, it's like aim acceleration I've got the updated one which is a little bit more up to date for me and how I like to play. So I know where people are at. I was like, well, what can I put this? I'm not going to get time, just stick it there, and here we go. So I'm like, right, it's time to get in. Don't mind me. Smash the door open. And I thought, I'm going to go up top actually. Let's see if we can go up top and just double check no one's going to be camping up top shooting down at people. So I'll go for this window. Take it out. And then just have a quick sneaky peek to see if there's anyone in here. Throw a couple of flashes out just in case. See if we can blind anyone. And I thought, right, there's no one up there. It's time to get back in. And here we go. Now one thing I like about sledge is you can smash holes in the floor, so that's what I was looking at there. Just for hatches. So... As you can see, one of our team members is down. And they've lost a member, so... Four versus three and three versus three. I'm like, geez, we're, we're going out quick here. I can see our teammate there. Right, right. We need to get down. So here we go. Smash the floor in. There we go. As you can see, you try to throw a flash in, but they've got some device that destroys your flash. Like a trophy system. Is the only thing I can explain it as, you know, like in Call of Duty. Take out that camera. You can see my teammate's just gone down, it's like, okay. So it's a 2v2. So I need to help out here. Like, how can I get down there? I was like, ah, there's a hatch here. And there we go. So all I need to do now is just cover them up and get a win. So I could see the guys that are shooting at him here. Did try and go for his feet. Try to shoot him there. You can see him running about. It's like, okay. Like, go on, come in the room. I'm just double checking no one's gonna come up here and try and attack me. You can see this dude here in the background. And I don't know how I died. As you can see, he took no damage there when I was shooting at him, but I was clearly felt like I was I was clipping him. I think I did miss a little bit there, if I look back at it. There's a couple of times where it does go a little bit wide to the left and just a bit over to the right. But with the time to kill in this game and the kind of character he was, he's got the very low armor. I was like, well, how the hell did I not kill this guy? So at this point, I'm like, well, what I need to do is just turn down my aim down sight at the moment and just try and go around about 32 I think you know just slow it down just a little bit maybe it was just a bit too high secure the area keep the bombs protected so as you can see we've now lost two people we've got three people left so we're almost in the position that they were in So again, just reinforce the walls. Alright, right, can I reinforce this wall? So 
No, I can do this one now. Let's do this one. Just in case to try and hide behind this wall and shoot through it. And then it's like, well, why do I put my shield again? Um, I'll put it here. And then it didn't go down. And there's a little drone car going around. Alright, destroy the thing. <laughs> It's like, there we go. Right, it's time to get into it again. I'm like, oh god, it sounds like they're coming this way. So I went to upstairs and you can hear them breaking in. There's definitely someone here. There you go, there's one dude. It's like, I'll help you. They'll be ready for me. Take him out quickly. I can hear more people coming in. Shield guy again. Again, go for his feet, but he manages to crouch this time. I don't know how those shots didn't hit his feet, to be honest. And then I managed to get him and his teammates. And now we've got one person left, and that's a 1v1. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I know he's here somewhere. I'm just trying to get a peek on him. I'm, like, I'm just gonna come downstairs and see if I can hopefully catch him out here. I know he's close. Right, right, he's put the bomb down, so I need to quickly get down there now. So, rush downstairs. And I thought it was in this room he was in. Because it sounds like it's in this room, doesn't it? But it's actually not, it's in the actual other room. To where the bomb is. So I'm like, what? I'm like, no, it's not here, it's gonna be here then. So, quickly come in, peek him, kill him. And now it's just defuse the bomb. Now I've never been in a situation where I've had to defuse a bomb. So I'm very, very lucky. I figured it out quickly. Because <laughs> generally, in the game, we've killed each other. You know, we've killed everyone in their team or I've killed everyone in my team. My team. So on and so forth. I've never actually had to have to defuse a bomb. So there you go. Kappa. Kicking butt. I must have killed at least, what, three, four people in that game? Literally the entire team? By myself? So once again, obviously using a sledge. Come in with that sledgehammer. But as you can see, now we've got a problem. Because we're now down to two players. Versus five. So I don't know why the sudden change, why the sudden shift in players. But they got their players back. We unfortunately, you know, a bit of a spoiler alert, we unfortunately, we don't get any other players back. We just have two. Just me and the other dude. That is it. This is five other people. So just trying to locate the bomb quickly because obviously I've only got another guy to rely on and if he's as newbie as me, then this is going to be a rough time. As you can see, the bomb's here. I was like, right, I found a bomb. All I need to do now is just set up my drone and get ready. Seconds before insertion. I'm like, oh god, <laughs> Mr. Drone, please don't come this way and, and let me get caught out by you. Luckily, we didn't. And now here we go. So I'm running over to this house because this is where the bomb's going to be at. My teammate's gone right over the other side, which is a bit strange. I went all that way when it could have gone this way and been close to the bomb. Oh, I felt I was close to the bomb. <laughs> so that's time to get going and hopefully we can win this. I'm just listening for people. Just double checking no one's in there. It's like, nope, no one's in there. 
So I've just got this stairs to cover. I'm just gonna hear lots of people. Alright, let's go around this way. Uh, no, let's let's go upstairs possibly because that's where the sounds are coming from because it One was coming heavily from all this. And as you can see now it's a 1v5 situation. There is a dude here. Managed to kill him, but I'm only on 26 health now, which is not good. I'm like, well there's not much I can do now. If I go any against anyone who's got heavy armour, or is one of the higher tier armour players, it's going to be very, very difficult for me to win that situation. I'm just waiting here because I know he's coming down. And as you can see, it was Doc. So there's nothing I could do because Doc will have stimmed up. It probably would have stimmed himself up. So he had more people. And I did shoot. And it didn't show the shot of me shooting. So I don't know if there's a delay of I was having problems with connection or anything. But I tried my best. I was on 26 health. There was no way. I should have probably laid down. Maybe that would have cheated him because he would have had to aim down rather than just round the corner but it is what it is there's not really much I could do about that to be honest so we're on to the next round once again just two people he's picked Dark I got Rook which is possibly a good combination because Dark can stim you and Rook can give you extra armor so that might help us survive that a little bit longer against five in terms of what we can do, but unfortunately you'll see probably what what I'm talking about, what I've just explained about but uh, I'll not spoil it so I'm putting body armor on I don't actually know if my team actually went for body armor, did it? Um, I think he did yes he did, yeah, that's good because I didn't see him pick up the body armor at the beginning Now, if you don't know about these two characters, Rook, as you can see, he can drop armor ability. and deployable shields. And Doc, he can actually stim himself up to give him extra health. Because Doc can actually keep shooting you with this stim gun, and it will give you your health back. So I'm putting this here, just to block this area off. Make it a bit more difficult for them. Now it's just a case of hoping for the best, really. Seeing as there's only two versus so many. So again, I shot this guy. I don't know how he didn't die. He's using Ash, who has no armor. And she's not a heavy armor user. She's a, a light, a very, very light armor because she, she runs faster but she can be killed really, really quickly. But unfortunately, there we go. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you do, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if you're new, tap that notification bell to become one of my convicts or convicts. And yes, it is I, the Kappa Convict, signing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts. And I'll see you soon in some more gameplays. Bye for now.